are you looking for a job? Are you struggling to find your dream job and you're searching around to see what can you do to distinguish yourself? Look no more, you're in the right place. Uh, my goal is to introduce you to tips that will help you elevate your job search by interviewing experts in the field. Hi everyone, my name is Meher from Vancouver, BC and welcome to my interview series. Uh, at the end of each interview, as I mentioned, you will fill it with knowledge and information that will help you elevate your job search. And if you are a first time watcher, please subscribe so that you don't forget any of the new videos that I'm posting. So let's start with today's interview. It's my privilege and honor to interview David Reeve. David is a versatile and result-driven senior executive leader with a proven of achievement in execution of best practices and cultural development, focus strategy, service excellence, and leadership mentoring. David has contributed to building several national brands, resulting in 88 awards for business excellence. And he's the author of Unleash Culture and has made corporate culture his career. Welcome, David. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another interview series with me. Today, it's my privilege and honor to interview David Reeve. He's the author of the Unleash Culture book, and he's made corporate culture his career. So welcome, David. How are you doing? Doing awesome. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. So David, tell us more about yourself and what does corporate culture mean these days in this DNA? Yeah. So a little bit about myself and my background. Um, so actually, I got my first taste of corporate culture when I was 14 years old. Um, I uh, had applied at a local restaurant called the, it's called the Keg and Cleaver. It's now called the Keg Restaurant. We'd all know by that if you live yes. local in Vancouver, you'd know that. Um, and it was an unbelievable place. It just, it, we just, I'd never experienced anything like it. We had the most amount of fun. Um, not sure if we made a lot of money, but heck, it was a great place to work. And, and I had mentors and uh, just couldn't wait to go to work. And that, you know, as a 14 year old boy, I thought to myself, wow, I guess this is the way all businesses are supposed to be run. <laughs> so I fell in love with, with, company culture then and really just set out on a mission to um, uh, to study it and learn it and understand why some why some companies are great and some why some companies aren't great and so over the years I've been blessed to build a number of very large national brands be part of architecting those um, very happily married to my amazing spouse Michelle mm -hmm. who I call a serial crazy ass entrepreneur <laughs> and started a multitude of companies with her and we've really just tried to build brands and companies where we are uh forerunners in in company yeah. culture so um yeah so and, and i really my whole life i've mastered what i call r d which is rip off and duplicate mm -hmm. uh, where i uh, see an idea and i say hey if the idea works there why couldn't it work here and so what we've been able to do over the years is just take the best bits of everything that we've learned yes. and put it into a process now that we go into companies and we, um, uh, we, we have a look at their overall culture. Now, to me, uh, culture is not beanbag chairs and beer Fridays. It's, uh, it's a whole ecosystem, which I'm sure we'll get into a little bit later on. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we do. We just go in, we just make companies better. Have you seen any changes or trends now that social media is playing a great role in searching for company cultures? Have you seen anything change from the four, when you were 14 and now? Yeah, I think, you know, I think the biggest trend is it's become more humanized. Um, you know, many, 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 many years ago, people's idea of culture was fancy offices and perks and, and things like this. And what I call the masks, all the things that just try to attract people to get in, but never really addressed the root cause of what culture is. And now I think what you're starting to see is that only goes so far. Um, and so what companies are starting to do now uh, is they're starting to really show more of the character side of their brand as much as looking for the skill side. And yeah. um, culture is a lot deeper now than just, you know, like I say, being bag chairs, beer Fridays, yeah. <laughs> cool slogans on the walls. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, you can have all that, but if you don't have real corporate, real corporate culture, then yeah. that, that's just that's what will yeah. last. Yeah. Thank you for that introduction, Dave. 
David. So if any of the people watching or listening, uh, I'll ask you a question. So what's corporate culture? What's culture for you? And if you can share it in the comment section, I'll be, uh, it will be very great to, to watch it and or to, uh, to read it. And tune in tomorrow for another question with David.